What's up everybody? This is Cora once again. Today is gonna be an unboxing video and as always I am ready. It is ready so let's get it on. Alright? Um, nakikita nyo po wala na po siyang bubble wrap. Tinanggal na po namin para mas diretsyo tayo sa product. And it only has a plastic. So I'm just gonna have to remove it first using exactly the same scissors. Guys, so nakikita nyo na po kung ano ang i-unbox natin today, guys. Of course, it's another product necessary to our piece of Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi window sa mga nakakakilala at nakakasunod na po sa amin. Dahil kami po ay um, uh, gumagawa or ang aking better half po ay gumagawa ng piece of Wi-Fi for business. Ayan, eto po siya, guys. At siya po ay nagta-try, ayan, nag-experiment kung alin ang mas better na uh, router or access point. So, but today, we have this um, access point from TP-Link, guys. Sa aming uh, trusted brand, this is EAP 110 Outdoor Access Point, of course. Ayan. So, bubuksan ko na po ang ating product para makita natin siya. At last, guys, kasi um, one year ago, ang gamit po namin ay uh, in, sa indoor namin ay ang aming indoor TP-Link. Yan. So, ito siya, guys. Wow. Yun lang ang kanyang laman ng box. So, nothing more. Okay. There you go, guys. Of course, the cardboard, it's colored white. This is so cool. Alright. Ayan siya, guys. Ang kanyang cardboard. Ayan. So... So, of course, uh, first up here, there is this piece of paper. Ayan, guys. Um, this is some specifications in the Umada software controller. Ayan, ito po ang iyong guide, guys. Alright. And this one, of course, this is the installation guide, guys. This is, or these are written in English, guys, just so you know. Para, para international language siya. Ayan, meron din po dito ang kanyang Omada app. Ayan. Ayan. So, um, one of the best part of this uh, access point, guys, is because it's being um, operated by Omada. Meron po siyang app, mobile app, at saka Omada controller. Ayan. So, next, napansin ko pala itong Meron po dito yung piece of paper. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna be um, checking this one first. Um, public license notice. GNU General Public. Okay, so guys, let's go to the products. Um, let's check uh, pieces by pieces, guys. Ayan. So, syempre, yung cardboard ang nagsisilbing division niya para hindi mag-mix up itong ating mga um, parts ng ating product. So, first, of course, meron po ditong nasa loob pa ng plastic. This is the POE adapter. Ayan, guys. Meron po siyang screws dito. Ayan, ito po ang ating. Ayan, ganyan siya. Ang ganda na. Ang ganda, guys. So, colored white kasi siya. And I like colored white. Ayan. Ito po, um, ito po yung port kung saan isasaktak nyo po ang, ang, ang inyong uh, POE. Ayan. And then this one, this is the LAN port or LAN port. Ayan. Ayan po siya, guys. Ganda. It's nice. This is the screw for this EOE. Ayan. And then, this one, guys, these are the mounting kits. Ayan. Ito po yung ginagamit kapag um, ilalagay mo po or imamount mo po ang um, itong ating outdoor sa wall. Alright. Um, ang kagandahan kasi nito, guys, meron siyang convenient um, installation with simple um, installing a design. Ayan siya. Ito po ang kanyang mga screws, guys, para sa pag install pag ma-mount ng, at uh, ng ating access point. Ayan. There. And, whoo, what's next? Of course, I'll just go to the antennas first. Okay, guys. Ito po ang kanyang dalawang antenna. It is um, omnidirectional. Okay? Two antennas with 3 dBi high gain uh, antennas. Okay? Ayan. So, ang isa pa pong kagandahan nito, guys, sa 
outdoor access point na to is detachable po itong ating dalawang antena niya. Okay? So, ayan. Pwede po siyang nabibend po siya, guys. Depending on your desired position or direction. Ayan. So, kung if in case meron kayong desired na um, or demand na other than uh, 3 dBi antennas, pwede niyo po siyang i-detach. At kung meron kayong extra antennas, pwede niyo po siyang i-attach sa ating um, access point. So, yun. Yun yung kagandahan din niya, guys. Ayan. Kasi po, sa mga nakakasunod na po sa amin at nakakakilala na po sa amin, uh, before, meron na po kaming compact outdoor access point. Ayan. So, so far, so good naman po siya. But this one, we are gonna be trying this one too. Kung alin ang mas better, yung Compass ba or ito. Kasi trusted brand na po namin ang kikiling. And uh, also guys, so just stay tuned because we will be doing a comparison po between the Compass uh, CF EW71 version 2 uh, versus itong ating TP-Link. EAT110 Outdoor Access Point. So, um, i-upload po namin yun. So, watch out lang po guys para ma, ma ano po kayo kung uh, alin yung mas preferred or mas better sa dalawang outdoor access point. So, next of course, itong ating ayan, naka-plastic pa po ang ating um, outdoor access point guys. guys. Ayan siya guys. Very handy guys para siyang remote control. <laughs> I like it. Ayan. Ayan siya, guys. Ito ang ating um, EAT110 Outdoor Access Point. Ang length niya po, guys, is 215mm. Ayan. Para ka lang kung nagsa-cellphone. Ayan. TP-Link. Ayan. Nasa front face niya. Ayan. TP-Link. Then, nasa likod po ang kanyang... Ito po yung pang... Uh, gagamitin natin pang mount para sa pole. Ayan. Uh, dito rin po natin i-attach yung ating ito, ating mounting kit para sa wall. Ayan, sa pader. And then, uh, of course guys, ito, dito natin ikakabit ang ating antenas. Yan, dalawa naman po yan guys dito. Ikot-ikot nyo lang po yan. Alright, so you will be guided. And so, let me check. Alam ko meron ditong... So, ayan guys, dito po sa kanyang lower portion, yan sa lower part, meron po siyang bukasan guys, ayan, para po sa ating Ethernet cable. Ayan, and take note guys, nakadikit po siya ang kanyang takip, ayan, kanyang uh, nasa baba, para po hindi siya nalalaglag, hindi nawawala kapag po in-install na natin sa labas, kasi this is for outdoor settings. Okay, so this is the, the POE port, passive POE port, this is... Um, 10 100 Mbps passive PoE port. Ayan. And then guys, ayan siya. Okay. So kapag uh, also, na pag nasa outdoor na po kasi siya, kailangan po secured siya. Sinaksak na po natin or pinlog na po natin yung ating Ethernet cable. Dito po siya lalabas. At saka, so para mas secured siya, nilalagyan po natin ng rubber grommet. Ito po yung nasa plastic, yung maliit na white color. Ayan protection po siya dito para pag uh, umulan, hindi po siya nababasa. So, but do not worry guys about this one kasi um, it, it is waterproof, um, dust proof, uh, lightning protection, meron din po ito, kaya super uh, perfect to for outdoor settings. Ayan. So, itatest po namin ito kung uh, sulit ba ang aming pag-purchase ng trusted brand namin na TP-Link. And then, okay, so oh, we still have here this is the power cord. This is for the POE guys, ha? Ayan. I'm just gonna be uh, getting this off the plastic. Ayan, guys. You know what, guys? I really like colored white. So, this is for our POE adapter. This one. Uh, I think this is 30 centimeters and colored white guys for our poe Ayan. i like it and um what do we have here oh zip ties guys and it's colored white too wow this is so nice too two zip ties colored white we have a lot of zip ties because of my better half you know uh, technology works 
So yun lang guys. Nothing more. Diba? Ang ganda ng kanyang cardboard and I really like it. It's colored white this time because the last time, yung indoor po namin is colored brown. Yun lang po. TP-Link EAP110 Outdoor 300 Mbps Wireless and Router Access Point. It is built for outdoor Wi-Fi applications up to 300 Mbps Wi-Fi with 2x2 MIMO technology. High transmission power and high gain antennas provide a long range coverage area. Durable, weatherproof enclosure to withstand fair and foul weather. Passive PoE or power over ethernet support and simple mounting design allow for flexible deployment and convenient installation. Cloud centralized management and Omada app for ultra convenience and easy management. Wireless functions are multiple SSIDs up to eight SSIDs. Enable and disable wireless radio, automatic channel assignment, transmit power control or adjust transmit power on DBM, QoS WMM, load balance, rate limit, reboot schedule, wireless schedule, wireless statistics based on SSID or AP or client, wireless security, captive portal authentication access control, wireless MAC address filtering, wireless isolation between clients, SSID to VLAN mapping, rogue AP detection, 802.1x support, 64128152-bit, WEP, WPA, WPA2 Enterprise, WPA PSK, WPA2 PSK. Excellent hardware designs with the special design of its antenna, appearance, power options, and installation methods. EAP110 Outdoor can perfectly fit for different scenarios, both indoors and outdoors. Detachable antennas EAP110 Outdoor is designed with two omnidirectional detachable antennas, which means other antennas can also be attached for specific demands. Once again, this is Dippling EAP110 Outdoor, 300 Mbps wireless and outdoor access point. So uh, that's it for today guys. And also before I forgot, if you want to check the routers and access points that I have already unboxed, I'm just going to be putting it down in my description. So be sure to check it out as well, okay? So, okay, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching and do not forget, if uh, you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber yet, please make sure to subscribe and take that notification bell. Our Facebook page, just follow us at Unboxing and Everything and our Twitter account that is Unboxing E. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again on my next video. Bye. Love ya.